it's Suffer and I am back with another video. So another month has passed and it is yet again the time to open a scrawly box. Yay! So this one is the April scrawly box and if you would like to see my previous scrawly box unboxings you can check the link in the card. But now... <laughs> but now <laughs> we're cutting this one open. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna try something different this time. Are you ready? <clears throat> okay, see if that worked. <sighs> ah! Mostly. Worked pretty good. Okay, so here's the featured art for this month. It's very rainbow. I like it. And here is the information for the artist if you would like to check them out. Get the paper and then goodbye. <gasps> I see something. I'm excited. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just arrange it. Okay, so these are the supplies that we got, and I'm so excited about these. I'm like, I'm not even sure what they are, but they just look so pretty, and I feel like I've seen them around somewhere. So I'm really excited to test them out. Ah! <laughs> if you can't tell, I am excited. Great. Let's uh, get to swatching. Yeah? Okay, cool. <laughs> Okay, I am excited. How about you guys? First up is this graphite writing pencil in HB. It's from Viking and it's an element one, whatever that means. The fact that it's called a writing pencil. Okay, I just spelled pencil wrong, but the fact that it's called a writing pencil uh, doesn't give me the best of expectations for it. It's actually performing quite okay, but it seems to be a bit softer than an HB pencil, at least if you ask me. So now that we have some pencil marks, let's try and erase them with this Faber-Castell Art Needed Eraser. Or Eat It, need, eat, eat it Needed, what? <laughs> need a ball. Need a ball eraser. Come up. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? It's double wrapped. I don't understand the purpose of this. I spent a long time trying to get it out of that first wrap, and now it, there's more. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? I guess that there's some sort of like uh, purpose to it. I just, I just don't know what it is. Ha, here we go. Okay. No, no there's still plastic on it. Oh my, ah, oh, soft, come on. Okay. <laughs> the plastic is sticking to my fingers. No. Okay, make a shape. And now we can erase with the needed eraser. Oh yeah, mm. this does a pretty good job. I don't understand why it's white though, because look at how dirty it just gets. That seems weird. Let me see if I can figure out if there's a purpose to this. Nope. No purpose whatsoever. Oh no, wait, I need it. Uh -huh, come back. <laughs> I threw it on the ground, but we need it later, so it's back. And then we have these two Unipen fineliners that say they are water and fade proof. Okay, so this one is 0 0.5 and this one is 0 0.1. So let's see how those look like. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> this confused me for a second. Okay, okay, I see. So I couldn't really tell if this was gray because you know it's gray on the outside and the other one's dark uh, gray or black or whatever so i figured that this one might be gray but then i looked at the tip and i was like oh it's probably black and then i started writing and it 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 was gray and then i thought that it was running out of ink or something but it's i see now it's just because it's gray that's cool i like that 
And then let's try this one. Oh, wow. Oh, this one's great too. Wow, that's so interesting. <laughs> because I was like, wait, this one's definitely running out of ink. No, it's just gray as well. Aha, uh -huh, I see. That's very interesting. I've never worked with gray fine liners before. Come out, come out, come out to my babies. Oh, okay. Oh. And finally, we have these Ecoline brush pens. I'm just taking them out of the box and holding them. They feel so cool, so I can't wait to swatch them. <laughs> Let's see what the nip looks like really quick. Ooh, it's a beautiful brush nib. I'm excited. Okay, let's watch it. Okay, let's start with the gray because gray is the least fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm so excited about this. Ah! <laughs> oh, I feel like a child. Ooh. This is a beautiful blue color. Mm. Wow. They're so smooth. I'm into it. Oh, just look at these colors together. They're so cute. Oh, wow. I was hoping the other day that when I went to open my scrawler box that it would be something like this. So I feel like the scrawler Bucks, gods heard my prayers and gave me something fun. Would you look at that? It's so pretty. And then on the card it says that you can um, mix them with water. So I'm gonna see what water will do to them. Yep. I mean that works pretty well. Oh, <laughs> this is weird. Okay, it behaves different from the other ones. Maybe I just had a bit too much pink on there. Maybe that's it. Now I'm curious to see if I can blend two colors together, though. Oh, okay. Mm. This isn't quite what I was hoping for. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna try again. Yeah, no, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> um, maybe we just want two gradients. Maybe that's just how it is. And before I forget to mention it, the scrawler challenge for this month is Words of Wisdom, uh, which is gonna be interesting. <laughs> okay, so this video took me a while to, to film and to edit and to get out there. Um, I think it's been probably more than a month since I opened the scrawler box. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'm also uh, sorry about the very long uh, intro and about the very weirdness and uh, the oddly excited Sof. I don't know what was going on that day, <laughs> but I guess something good. So you might have noticed that I've been uh, away for a while and that's because I've been super busy with uh, production at school and then we had exams and all sorts of stuff and I've just been so stressed out and everything's just ha huh. but now uh, it's it's almost summer vacation so hopefully I'll have a bit more time to do some YouTube stuff and I really want to get back into it because I missed it and I also have like another scrawler box I need to open so <laughs> next video might also be a scrawler box video unless you all protest then I will try and make something else in between so you might be wondering, uh, Sof, how does this relate to the to the scrawler prompt? Uh, because I don't see any words of wisdom in there. And to that I say, ah, uh, yes you do. I mean, I, there are words in there. <laughs> I'll explain it to you. So when I first saw the prompt words of wisdom, I thought, oh no. I don't want to do one of those like inspirational quotes with like a beautiful drawing and... Huh, I really don't like those, uh, so I was really trying hard to figure out ways to do this without doing that. And uh, I was on my Pinterest, and on my Pinterest I have a lot of pictures of Paramore, and specifically of Haley Williams. Um, and then I thought, you know what? I feel like Paramore makes some songs with some nice uh, words of wisdom, if you may, if you will. 
So I figured that I would try and use some of their words. And then I was spending a really long time trying to figure out what quote I wanted to take and from what song. And then I saw this picture with the jacket that says grow up on the back. And I was like, oh yes, that's so cool. I love it. And it would go so well with these colors. But then I thought, well, soft, that's not really like a words of wisdom kind of thing. And then came the the revelation of maybe it's okay. <laughs> Who cares? And that's the story of how I chose to interpret the prompt as as more of like an inspirational point to jump from than uh, a specific thing. Yeah. No, but in all seriousness, I think that Paramore have some songs that I really relate to a lot and I feel like that they have a lot of words of wisdom in a lot of their music. So I really wanted to do something inspired by Paramore. And I feel like the song Grow Up also has a lot of words of wisdom in it. Uh, like, I guess, <laughs> depending on who you are and how you understand it. But for me, I... Uh, I think that's a good song and that we could all learn something from it. Or maybe not all of us, maybe just some of us, maybe just the ones that need to grow up sometimes. And so whoa, whoa, if I have to, I'm gonna leave you behind. <laughs> if you don't know Paramore, you're gonna be like, what's happening? I'm really into Paramore. Hello, my name is Sophie. I don't know if you noticed. Um, the Paramore thing, I mean, not that my name is Sophie. Moving on. I drew a thumbnail for this drawing actually on the day that I unboxed the art supplies and I really 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 liked it and then it just took me the longest time before I actually sat down and drew it onto a bigger piece of paper. And I don't know why because I was really excited to do this. I just every day when I came home I was just so exhausted and I just got on my bed and then I fell asleep. <laughs> Uh, but then finally I, I got my stuff together and I drew the drawing and I was like, yeah, I like this. I, I like the way that this turned out, which is so nice. Like that's such a good feeling to have. So I'm very happy about that. I think the hardest part for this piece was getting enough contrast because the jacket is supposed to be black and I only have like grays. <laughs> so it's hard to like really get that darkness in there that I felt like it needed. But in the end, I just ended up going over the same thing a lot of times and I went over it with the brush pens and yeah, I, f I think it worked uh, somewhat, I guess. It's kind of weird to be back. Like, I feel like I need to get back into my groove. Hopefully uh, I'll, I'll do that when the next video comes out. I, I feel like I'm just rambling on in this one. Um, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Speaking of rambling and unrelated things, I am going to Annecy next week for an animation festival. So I will probably be doing some vlogging if you all are interested. I'm gonna upload it on... Uh, uh, <laughs> potatoes in my mouth. I'm gonna upload it on my second channel when I get back home. So if you would like to go and follow my second channel, you can do that. There's gonna be a link in the description. And I have some vacation vlogs from last year and the year before that up there, if you want to check those out in the meanwhile. But that's about it for this video, I think. It looks like I am almost done. And I'm so happy with the way that this turned out and I had a lot of fun testing out the art supplies. Might have been a bit too uh, enthusiastic in the beginning. Uh, but I loved the way that the art turned out and I loved working with them and I actually use them in my sketchbook currently. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. And I hope that you liked it too and that you enjoyed the video and did I say that already? Um, I hope that I'll see you later. And also thank you so much for watching.